it's Ash. So it's been a little bit since I've done a weekly update of my island, so there may be a lot more progress than usual for these updates, but yeah, there was just a slight gap in making these videos just because life's been crazy with Corona. I mean, it's been crazy for everybody. For me, it just affects my job going <laughs> bazooka, making me very tired. But that's okay, you know? I'm alive, I'm healthy, and that's all that matters. Since I have a little bit of free time at the moment, I figured I would show you what I've been doing lately. Um, again, there's a lot more progress compared to the last video, but there's still a lot to do. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So here we are. Already you can see that I've done a lot of um, updates around my entrance. I mean, I still feel like there's some things lacking here, but let's just go ahead and take a look here. If you've been watching my videos a lot, you know that I've been wanting to make a star pond or star lake, whatever. So that's kind of what I have right here at the very entrance is just a couple of star ponds. No fish generated in it. I'm guessing it's because of this little, um, this little um, piece of land right here. I'm guessing that's why they don't spawn, but that's okay. I like how it looks. I don't really care if it's functional. Um, and then of course we have the shrine to my golden lucky cat at the very top here. <laughs> um, I was thinking about doing teddy bears or something else, but I figured, you know, a golden lucky cat right at the entrance seems just right. And let me go ahead and take you up there real quick before I review my map. Um, I, I made this um, special design so that way it looks like I have coins on the ground. And then of course, you know, some other coins of my own bells, just hundred bells right here, just to kind of give it a nice little aesthetic here. And then I added some lanterns just to add some light. I may change the lanterns out. I just put those there for now, but, and then I surrounded my entrance, as you can see with um, red and white lilies that have been producing pink lilies. As much as I like the lilies, I think the red is too bold for me in my opinion. So I'm thinking I may switch out the red and white lilies and pink lilies with red, white, and pink hyacinths because I kind of like how they take on color a little bit more. Um, but I think I just need to put more trees on the sides of this entrance and then I think I, it'll be more complete. Maybe I move the ponds a little more to the sides, add some trees at the beginning, I don't know. Something's not quite right, but you know, I've got time to fix it. <laughs> Anyways, I know I started to go over my entrance already and I should have been looking at my map here. So that way you can kind of see how much progress has been done since my last um, update video. I went over and I added a third and, or I should say a second and third tier because, you know, I had everything leveled out flat. Um, so that's basically what I've been working on the most the past couple weeks is just really focusing on adding more tiers and such. And as you can see to the left, I added a bit of a heart pond because I needed a pond on the third tier, a rather large pond. And so far, all the layout that I've been making, I haven't been able to have that third tier pond because if you don't know, having a third tier pond means you will have specific fish that spawn in that third tier pond. Um, you will miss out on certain fish if you do not have a pond on the third tier. So that's the purpose for that heart um, lake thing on the very side. Because the rest of my map, as you can see, I don't really have a place for a third, a third tier pond at the moment. But, you know, that could change in the future. And I was just bored one night and I was like, you know, I've got all this extra space to the left of my map. Why not make a huge heart pond? Uh, lake, whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and close that out. I obviously need to clean up my flowers a little bit. They've been overgrowing. I, you know, I definitely need to clean this up a little bit, but I have added a path here. I will link in the description the path design that I am using in case you are interested in using it for yourself. Um, let me go ahead and actually just show you um, all the design for that. It's right here. It's got like a flowery corner. I, I picked this path specifically because I like the transparency, so if I wanted to lay it on the grass, I could. But I laid these paths on wooden brick, or <laughs> wooden um, panels on the ground. So yeah, um, not much has changed over here. Just added, um, you know, a little pond, or I should say a little river from the Golden Lucky Cat Shrine. 
I added a little stump so that way you could get across like that with little patterns and I really like how that looks. I want to add more of these but of course I need to add bridges so that way my islanders can actually navigate across the island which is why I have a bridge over here that takes you to your little um, beach walk here. And I, I don't know if I want to try to get white um, lamp posts for the beach walk, but if you remember, I did have a beach walk in the last progress video, but the hyacinths have obviously grown in abundance since then that I also need to clean up. Um, I'm thinking I need to adjust this little area a little bit. Um, I don't know what yet. Um, again, my focus has been making the tiers lately and not um, decorating. So that's why there's a lot of lack of decoration over here. But um, then I think let me go to the other side real quick and I scared a snail off a bush. Let me go to the right of the entrance over here. I'm just running along. To the right of the entrance, I started to build out a DIY recipe area for you know my friends and family to come and pick up extra recipe cards that I have. Um, I, I feel like I need to add like a couple trees back here or something to kind of make it pop out a little bit. Is it just me or do the hedges look a little plain? Like I love the green hedges and everything, but I wish we could like customize them to have like little flowers or something inside them or something. I know that with the cheese, the seasons, seasons, with the seasons, they'll change colors and such, or we'll be able to make different colors. But I just feel like against the grass, they kind of are dull. Um, you know, it kind of washes it out. Anyways, that's just me ranting. But yeah, just made this little DIY stand. I feel like I can improve it a little bit, but I just wanted to have a space near my entrance for people to pick up extra DIYs. And then right up here. Um, what I've been envisioning with my Islander houses is like, they're on different tiers, but they're still close together. I don't know, I thought it looked pretty cool, or the idea was pretty cool. So I have Lyman's house here, he's been with me since the beginning. And I wanted to, you know, if I pull up my map again real quick, I wanted to add some tiers near the beach because I have so many tiers near the back of the island, and I felt like I needed to pop up a little bit more at the front of the island. Um, even though this is in front of resident services, I have a considerable amount of space between this tier and resident services. And what can I do you for, Ike? Oh, a reaction. Thank you. But yeah, see, there's a considerable amount of space between the tier and the resident services here. So resident services isn't like overpowered or anything. So, you know, at first I was kind of scared to add tiers here, but you know, I think it worked out. I also added a little pond by... Lyman's house up here so that way I could have a second tier pond. I'm not sure if the specific fish um, spawn in second tier ponds but I figured I would add it. And then down here I have Rosie's house which I need to, again, I have a lot of decorating I gotta do. But I added a little bit of water and then I added some cool little, you know, water patterns here, you know, just something to add to the beach over here because I felt like there just wasn't anything here. And there still isn't. There's a lot that I need to update, but, um, okay, so let me go up to resident services up here. I mean, resident services, since we can't move resident services or anything, uh, it's kind of been my base for just growing lots and lots of flowers, as you can see, because, you know, I'm not able to move it, I can't really build things near it, so I figured it was the safest space to just grow a bunch of flowers while I, you know, work on construction right now. So if I go up here, I built a, um, you know, a diagonal river. I, I just love the look of a diagonal river. I just, you know, as, and even on the map, like, it just looks so cool just to have a diagonal river. And the fact that we can build that I think is really cool too, instead of the standard horizontal or vertical rivers. I, I just figured, you know, having something a little different would be nice. So, and then I have this little bridge here that gets you to the next set of islanders over here, which is Ike down here, and I'm pretty sure that's Tammy that's up there. I can't remember for sure, but add a little waterfall and everything. Again, there's a lot I need to add, but figured, you know, this is also where I've been planting a bunch of flowers. There's been spots here and there that you'll see where I've just been planting a bunch of flowers. But it's, yeah, I just, I, I thought this looked really nice, you know, adding the houses like this. Um, I don't know if I'll ever add stairs or anything over here. Maybe I will just because they're kind of far out from everybody else. 
And then up here for Tammy, Tammy's yard up to the side, I added like a little, um, you know, cool woodsy area because I figured, you know, whenever there's shooting stars and stuff, I can come up here with friends and, you know, get the shooting stars, get all those star fragments. Okay, so let me get back down real quick so we can go back um, near resident services and then go towards the left. Okay, so resident services is right over here. Here's Lyman's house. We already went over it. And here's the DIY area. So if you see, if you go up from the DIY area, you get into my area where it's just a bunch of second and third tier. Um, and then of course I built a little river up here so that way I have a second tier river instead of just the first tier river that's up into the left hand or the right hand corner. And then I also added, you know, just some waterfalls just to kind of give it something. I don't know. Everything's still a work in progress. Like, I'm at the bare minimum here. <laughs> but as you cross over here, we have Marina's house down here. And then we have, I forget who's here. I think this is Melba. And then up there we have Hopkins. But I just kind of liked the idea of just having three houses like this. You know, they're next to each other, but they're separated by tiers. I thought that was a good idea, and I just smacked my controller into my desk. Ooh. Um, but yeah, I also added just, you know, I've been adding little random waterfalls here and there. I also added this Islander house right here because I didn't know where else to place it. Um, but I felt like that was kind of a good spot here. And then I plan to add stairs here, it, it's a work in progress because I already have a slope here so I figured I could make another slope here to get to the third tier. And it, let me go ahead and get on this third tier over here. And on the third tier I'm going to have my house. I don't know if I'm going to move it, my house used to be back here, but I moved it up so that way I could add more trees and such, but I don't know if maybe I'll move it back some or something, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and go over here where on the third tier there's like this connecting land that takes me over to Hopkins house over here and then I went ahead and made a little heart pond by Hopkins house because I figured you know I needed to add a little more to the third tier and um, and then I added just the spot of fourth tier here just for fun you know just for texture or whatever but it's, as you can see, since I don't have that piece of land in the middle of the heart like I do at my entrance, bugs and fish are actually spawning in there. And that's great, you know? That's another third tier pond that I have. And then I don't know if I'm happy with where my museum is right now. I don't know if I'll move it up and have a third tier behind it with trees and stuff. I don't know. And my overall theme is just kind of going with kind of a woodlands look. I pff, I don't know what I'm really looking for really. I'm just kind of doing whatever I feel like. Um, but yeah, I, I put it back here. I don't know if it's gonna stay back here. But then if you go to the left of it, I like the idea of having a slope that is kind of hidden, um, but it becomes more revealing as you get closer to it. And then of course I added two waterfalls to the sides here and just kind of made this area because I think what I'm gonna do eventually once I start decorating is I want to make this area into like an ice cream snow cone sweet shop. I don't know, just everything nice and sweet in this area here. And then, you know, of course I have Jolly Red over here. But I figured I could reserve this little area just to kind of have like a little sweet shop and then go to Jolly Reds. And yes, I know it's very original to have sweet shops, <laughs> a sweet shop in Animal Crossing, but look, I I'm thinking of decorating my kitchen like an ice cream shop, so that's just how it is. So going back over to my house over here, I plan to put another villager house here. I kind of curved it into the third tier just to kind of, you know, add some depth to it. And then I plan to add another animal villager down there. Um, and then I don't know if I'll add a river here. I feel like I need more water up here because if you look at my map here, I really don't have that much water to the left. I have a lot of water to the right, but not really enough to the left. I... I think I need to expand this river a little bit because I don't think fish spawn if it's only too, um, if it's only too long, I guess, or too width is what I'm trying to say. Um, because I haven't seen any fish spawn here, so I think I need to make it 3 width. But, um, the river and everything is surrounding the campsite over here, which I am pretty happy with my campsite. Obviously, I want to add more to it to kind of like a little picnic area or something. I mean, I have this picnic blanket here, but I kind of want to have like some 
benches and stuff over here but I'm pretty happy with it because this camping area is just surrounded by trees and by tiers and that's what I originally had planned for the camping area so I'm pretty happy with it need to decorate it a little more need to figure out the water situation over here but other than that I think it's pretty good and then if we come around here you can see I have these random um, second tier stumps on the first tier I just figured I would add a little fun and a little flair of something you know to get across to the heart pond over here because I don't have any other way to get here except by ladder so I figured I could add that you know for friends and family to just jump along and then I have the big water um, the big heart lake is what I'm trying to say but yeah I just figured that was fun to just add a little you know fun way to get over to this little pond here so as you can see, I did not connect the pond and the waterfall together because then it kind of made it into a river and that was not my intention. I specifically want this pond to be a pond. And since you, I can't control how the game, you know, recognizes what I build, I just went ahead and just kept the waterfall and the pond separate. But then it deposits down into here where I have another little flower garden here. And again, I was gonna connect this waterfall to this pond but when I did connect it it turned it in, it turned this river into a pond and or it turned this pond into a river is what I'm trying to say and again that was my intention because I still need a first tier pond as well and this first tier pond is right behind the shopping center here so we've gone full circle um the only thing that I haven't gone over is that there's this middle area here on the map this middle area here next to, you know, that's just in the middle of everything. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. These houses are plotted to go somewhere else as you saw before. So I'm not sure what I'll do with all this middle area. I know I still need to add an orchard for um, the exotic fruit for my island. And then of course, you know, a little flower field would be nice too. But outside of that, I'm not sure what else I'll add, but I feel like there will be more buildings to add to this game as we go throughout the year. Maybe there won't, but, you know, at least I have all this extra space in case there is, you know, more buildings to unlock as we, you know, go further into the year. Oh yeah, and then for this river up here, I just added a little spot to jump over right now. I need to add an actual bridge here so that way islanders can get across it. But of course I also have this little stump here and now we're getting back to the entrance here. So yeah, that's Kakigori thus far. Um, I'm pretty happy with how things are turning out so far. The next thing I'm really focusing on on my island is paving paths along, um, you know, my island. So that way, you know, there's kind of designated roads to take to get to different islander houses along with different areas of the island. But yeah, that's kind of my main focus for this next um, week. And then of course, you know, I'm kind of starting to think about decorations, but I still don't know what I want to do decoration-wise. But I think I just need to start placing furniture and just see what happens. That's honestly what I need to do, is just place it down and just see what happens. <laughs> Anyways, if you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I make videos about anything really. Lately it's been Animal Crossing themed just because that's what consumes my life at the moment. But I make content about other things as well, and that's... That's something that's coming on the horizon, is New Horizon. <laughs> More content that's not just Animal Crossing. So if you want to see what that might be, you know, why don't you stick around? Subscribe. But if not, if I have not intrigued you by this point, then what are you doing still here? Why? Why are you still here? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next one.